Hi, recently I was trying out a deep reinforcement learning library, and I made a custom simulation environment to test various learning algorithms. In particular, I was trying to simulate a rigid body assembly connected by joints, and I wanted to start from the simplest example possible. So I made a two-wheeled balance bot using the Gymnasium API and the PyBullet physics engine with the model definition in URDF format. I hope this video could help similarly minded people getting started. First of all, it does not take much research to realize that the most universally accepted API, by far, for defining environments that can plug and play with various mainstream open source reinforcement learning libraries was the OpenAI Gym. Since 2022, another package called Gymnasium has taken its place as the direct dropping replacement. It is 2024, so I will use the Gymnasium package, and it provides a handy example on how to create a custom environment. The example environment is based on Pygame and does not involve any multibody physics simulation, but it is very helpful in listing out all the key functions needed when extending the base gymnasium.env class, and I will go through each of them shortly. To replace the Pygame parts with a proper physics engine, PyBullet is a commonly used option, and they also provide an example. This example was made for an older version of the Gym API, but it was not hard to convert the example to work with the latest Gymnasium package. So let's go through them one by one. First, I need to define the supported render modes. Human modes means it is rendering for a human to watch. So the rendering happens automatically one frame after another, just like a video game. RGB array mode will not render anything to the screen by itself, but by calling the render function, it will return the current frame, and the user can decide what to do, such as to display it to the screen, or write to a file, or ignore it. By default, there is always another mode, in which nothing will be rendered. Next up is the init function, which creates an instance of the environment. At the very minimum, each environment must have two spaces defined. The first space is the observation space. An observation is what the learning agent uses for decision making. For example, if I need to observe the six degrees of freedom of my balance bot's body and their rate of change, that's 12 continuous variables to represent one observation. In this case, I would use gymnasium.spaces.box and provide the min and the max limits of each variable. The second space to define is the action space. The balance bot's actions are the torque applied to each wheel. If the actions are discretized, I will use gymnasium.spaces.discrete. If the torques are represented by two scalar values, one for each wheel, I will use gymnasium.spaces.box with a dimension of two. The reset function resets the simulation at the beginning of each episode. Since I'm using PyBullet for physics simulation, this is where I connect to the PyBullet backend, reset simulation, and load the robot model, which is defined in a URDF format. But PyBullet supports several other formats as well, and I have full control over how each episode starts. I can start each episode with the exact same robot pose to help troubleshooting, or I can initialize each episode with random robot poses to improve learning outcome. The expected output, according to the Gymnasium API, is the observation after the initialization step, and an info dictionary, which provides additional information, but could also just be left blank. The step function is called each time the agent wants to take an action. Since physics simulation happens in PyBullet and not here in the Gymnasium environment class, I simply interpret the control command and pass it to PyBullet. There are five expected return values for this function. The new observation after the action is taken. The scalar reward for this step. The boolean output terminated indicates whether the environment has entered a terminal state. This is a state that is beyond rescue, such as the balance ball falling to ground on its face. The boolean output 
truncated indicates whether the maximum number of simulation steps in one episode has been hit. Unlike the terminated flag, this flag is not a fault of the agent at all. In contrast, it is an indication that it has learned to not fail. And finally, the same info dictionary to provide optional information that is not included in the observation variable. If RGB array render mode is supported, the render function is necessary to provide that RGB array as an output. And the PyBullet has a convenient tool for simulating a camera view. And the last but not the least, the close function to release resources owned by the environment instance. If I follow the recommended way of structuring my package, this is where I can register my custom balance board environment to Gymnasium. After that, I will be able to create my custom environment just like any other built-in environments. And a simple loop like this will step through the simulation. With random control, of course it will fall. But with a very simple control logic, like I explained in the other video, the balance bot stands and rotates. Having this as a proof that the task is achievable, I can now try the learning algorithms. That's it. Hope it was helpful.